difficulties um <laughs> just on the old butter front yeah it's unlikely to run out of butter but oh yeah can you get the chocolate chips out as well please definitely gonna whack a few of them we've got chocolate chips so yeah. this says this says vegetable oil four bananas a quarter a cup of vegetable oil a quarter of a cup of milk we've got milk out no pringles yeah, right in front of you pringles <laughs> i don't know i got them out we need Brown sugar, have we got brown sugar? I'm gonna look now, yeah. And then vanilla extract? No. no. You know what, it only takes 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not vanilla. No. It's not a lot. I told you, it was like, I tried to order someone else, they didn't, we couldn't change it. We're not very prepared, are we? We're not. <laughs> I've ordered some tomorrow. We're not very prepared, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Why are our eggs blue? Oh, because. Oh, that's like the duck egg colour, you know, the mini. Duck eggs really blue. nice. Because when I went to the supermarket to get eggs, I went to the market and I bought zero, bananas. and the only ones I could get they were nice. the eggs look really nice. six blue eggs. I went to the supermarket and I bought. I went to the bananas. supermarket and I, I bought, and I bought six bananas. blue eggs. Hannah, huh? blue eggs. Your turn. I went to the supermarket and I bought six blue eggs, three bananas. I went to the supermarket and I bought six blue eggs. Three bananas and one packet of pasta. Wow, wow. Not what use about numbers? <laughs> <laughs> I went to the supermarket and I bought six blue eggs, three bananas, one packet of pasta, and a tub of sunflower oil. <laughs> <laughs> a tub? I don't know. Six blue eggs, three bananas, one packet of pasta, and a tub of sunflower Did you say sunflower vegetable? Sunflower, sunflower oil. oil. And? And Nutella. I went to the supermarket, I bought six blue eggs, three bananas, a packet of pasta, one packet of pasta, a tub of sunflower oil, and did you say Nutella? Is that what you said? Yeah, Nutella. <laughs> no, Nutella and Oh and Nutella and <laughs> some cinnamon. Well, you didn't, but <laughs> good if you did. Great if you did have some cinnamon, but you don't. That I don't think though. I like banana bread. You do. You must. Looks very like no banana bread is great. That's what, that's what we're using in it. That one. It'd be nice if we had some flowers here, wouldn't it? Yeah, flowers. We've got to, we've got to think about this next time. We're not very prepared. <laughs> well, the fact that we haven't got the ingredients. We haven't got normal flour and we haven't got flowers. <laughs> <laughs> so, why do we need flowers? Just for pretty. Just for ambiance. Just for ambiance. Yeah, we need probably a mixing bowl. You mix it all together and you. That's a bowl. Well, I was really confused at what you were going to sing then. I thought you were doing. um. High School Musical. Mix. Mix. Yeah, that's, cool. that's not High School Musical. No, it is. It's the second one. When they're in the kitchen and they're like, mix it up. Oh, do, yeah, do, yeah. Do, do. What, what is it? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, God, it's annoying me. We're going to have to play it's it. There. It's there. We're going to have to get it. You got yeah. to work, work, work this out. Such a creep. The ingredients to make this summer sweet. I think that was what I was thinking. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> We decided today that we were going to film um, a bake with us because we had these ingredients out on the side to make banana bread for three long. days and we have not made the banana bread and our bananas are very slowly becoming mush so we decided we were going to film it this morning, we were going to do a bake with us, it is Sunday the... Sunday! Who's birthday is on the 5th of April? Father's Day is on Sunday. So what's the question? If Father's Day is on Sunday, what's the question? <laughs> Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> anyway, um, it's Sunday. Easy one, we don't make the dumb bread. <laughs> <laughs> Very easily distracted. It's Sunday the 5th of April and Jeez, we... Birthday's on the 5th of April. Hannah. It's lots of people's birthdays today. Oh, happy birthday if it's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> if it's your birthday. Sunday the 5th of April. Sunday the 5th of April. We have officially been in um, official lockdown tomorrow evening for two weeks. 
So the UK got put on lockdown because of COVID-19. Coronavirus. Um, coronavirus. Coronavirus! <laughs> <laughs> Inappropriate. Just came out. Too soon. Too soon. So we're gonna make banana bread anyway. I think we're gonna start. We're just gonna go. We're gonna go for it. This is my sister and this is my mum, if anyone didn't know. We're actually following the same recipe I did in a banana bread a couple months back. So if you've been on this Chanel for a little while, you, you may have seen me do this already. So in a large mixing bowl, roughly mash the bananas. Go on then, how about that? Do you want a fork? Lovely. Yeah. Or Come on guys, break it up. Someone sounds really nice. It's probably mum. Or is it me? No, I haven't said no. I haven't put um, anything on. It might be just my natural pheromones. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the natural pheromones. <laughs> Add the brown sugar. How much? Mm. Bum. Bum, bum, bum. How many cups? Half a cup. Just eight. Eight tablespoons. There's a lot of sugar. Yeah, I did ask some questions on my Instagram. So the first question is actually the best foundation we've ever used. I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent at the moment. Yves Saint Laurent? Yeah, I'm using the white I don't wear foundation enough to be able to Which is very nice, but I think the best, I mean, is tinted moisturizer. The best one I've ever used is the Laura Mercier. Tinted moisturizer? Yeah. Mm. That's what I've got on today. So today I've literally just got on the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and then like concealer and then like bronzer. So but the white set is very nice and obviously I've got much older skin than you. Yeah. So it does cover up a multitude of things. Yeah. I really liked my Becca one. Did you? Yeah. It was like a dewy one, so it wasn't good for my skin because I've oily oh. skin. See, I would like but that. I think it was the Becca illuminating something or other. Mm. It's quite light quite sheer but you can build it up. Yeah that's it. That's what I like about the Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser is that it is very light and it, you can put a tiny bit on and it will look like you're not wearing anything but then you can do a, a couple of layers and it will actually cover up like breakouts yeah. and stuff. So you've got a really really light makeup look. You know it's really quick. But sorry that wasn't the question. It's oh. foundation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what one do we use? We have the same one right? Yes, they lauder double wear. Yes, they lauder double wear, which I've been using for a while, and I will say, every time I wear it and I go out, everyone asks me what foundation I'm wearing, mm. and they always say that my skin looks flawless. It's very mm. full coverage. Isn't it? Um, so I do recommend the Estee Lauder lauder double wear. Um, How many screens is that now? I think this is four. Right. Pass it. Seven, eight. Pass it. Seven, eight. One, two, and two, and three, and four. We went completely different ways than that. I was saying bring it on, what were you doing? Driving me crazy, my obsession falls. Okay. Sugar. Brother. 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 That's what you are. Brother. 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 To her. Brother. No, no, not that brother. 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 Yeah, yeah. So we need a quarter cup of vegetable oil. That's still some oil now. That's all, that's these veg, that's all we've got. I said you have vegetable oil and you said no, yes. that's all we've got, so it's just as good as. Have you not got like coconut oil? No. Right, so it's instead of good. vegetable oil, <laughs> we're using sunflower oil because we don't have any vegetable oil. Because we're in a worldwide pandemic. <laughs> okay? Well, it's half, half, four, it's four tablespoons, right? Um, four it's tablespoons, right? yeah. yeah. How long did that take you to shake it? I was just looking at something else, that's all. It's a lot to handle when you watch it like this. You don't realise when you actually like buy a cake, like how much shit is in it. Yeah. Okay, next question is, um, what's our favourite holiday we've ever spent together? Well, okay. <laughs> well I think our favourite holiday we've ever spent together was probably Sri Lanka. <gasps> Thank you. So, so sorry about that. For me, I think the best one we all spoke together was Sri Lanka. Was there? No. <laughs> so, that's why right, then. That's why right. we enjoyed it. Well, the best one the four of us spent together was the Gambia. Yeah, but the yeah. issue is we were so we were so young. We look like snippets. Mm, yeah, we can't. We were we weren't old enough to like. Actually, Sri Lanka was good, wasn't it? Because mm. we had that 
and we made friends with the hotel manager's daughter. Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah. We, we kept running away from her. her. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was obsessed with us. Mm. That's yeah. so mean. Because she did play like ping pong like, over mm. on the little. Mm. Yeah. I do remember it. With the bar that you swam up to. Or yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a bar in the pool that you could swim up to. Not that we could drink at that point. We always sat there. No. We would have appreciated it so much more now. Yeah. We were with. Um, we only went on nice holidays when we were young. Danielle yeah. and Steve. Yeah, um, we, we went with um, mum's like friends, and they were like family friends. They had young daughters as well, and we all went together for New Year. Yeah, we had Christmas Day. We flew out on Christmas Day. We flew out. out. We flew out. We flew out on Christmas Day, and we came back like the two days after New Year's Day. The two days after New Year's Day. <laughs> I was going to say the we day after. We flew out on the two days, not the one, the two. No, but what about Cyprus? Like four years ago. We yeah, were we were, that was really good. Yeah, that was really good. Tom no, wasn't there. That's such a bad memory. Cyprus, when me, Cyprus. you, and Mum and Els went to Cyprus. Yeah. Tommy's not my best holiday, but my best family holiday. What was your best holiday then? I mean, that, that wasn't, wasn't the question though. What was the question? All together. We were all together. I wasn't in Ibiza. Like I wasn't in Ibiza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I said family, not family. Mm. The next question, while we do 32 tablespoons. <laughs> oh god, we're going to have to count. Yeah. Someone count. Well, let's do 16 first, and then 16. Wow. Um, is, well, who is your fashion icon? I think for me, Audrey Hepburn. No, like these days yeah. that people have I don't, yeah. a specific like fashion oh, so. icon. Because you get another another question was where do you like get your style from? And I think it's very much the same similar question. I like um, anything nude, nude coloured neutral. I love ha uh, Hayley Bieber. I love her style, and I look at her for a lot of inspo. But I get my uh, inspiration. I look at Pinterest a lot, and obviously Instagram, other influencers. There's that one. Um, but yeah, in terms of celebrity style, Rosie Huntington Whiteley, um, Hayley Bieber. And you like, don't you like Morgan? Morgan oh, Morgan, Tom. yeah, Morgan Stewart from Rich Kids of Beverly Hills. I love that style. That I bad. love that style so much. Um, I'll link them all like on the page or something on the screen so you know who I'm talking about. Three. Are you sure? Well, stay tuned to the end of the video to see how the <laughs> banana bread turns out. <coughs> Crikey. I went to the supermarket the other day, I went to Tesco for like a snack and an alcohol run. Um, and when I was in there, I think I was thinking about it so much that I, I developed a cough. Yeah. And then I got really like nervous mm, because I was like, me. people are going to look at me if I cough. And then it got so bad, I was like holding my breath because I was like, I need to cough. <laughs> did but you I know I'm in See the guy in the news who did it? No. This guy. He was like listening and talk and talk and he could see he was like like really and then he said because he was holding it in like, so much that's cool. and then he was trying not to laugh. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you not see it? <laughs> Have you not seen it? <laughs> he really didn't want to cough on live TV. Well when I went to um, Bali, literally on the flight out, I uh, obviously it was quite it wasn't as bad when I flew out to Bali. Um, but I sneezed, and I just sneezed <laughs> so normally because I just didn't even think about it. I just literally went, and it, was, it was quite loud, and I didn't really even think about it. And then literally the whole plane just turned around and stared me out. <laughs> I've never felt more vulnerable in my whole life. <laughs> um, Pamela powder versus baking soda. While both products appear similar, they're certainly not the same. Baking soda is sodium bicarbonate. Oh, well, that's this thing. Which requires an acid. Okay, what's the difference between bicarbonate of soda and baking soda? Baking soda is a common name for sodium bicarbonate, a common alkali. Bicarbonate of soda is another common name. Substituting soda for sodium. Huh? Can you, can you the term bicarbonate of baking soda is used in some context. The next question was uh, kind of similar. It was, how would you describe your style? All shades of nude. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be a describing word. Nude is basic. Basic. Okay. Minimalist. No, that's it. Minimalist. I minimalist. like. I don't like colours. I don't like patterns. I don't like. No, that's I don't like minimalist. Like that's um. That's. What's the word for black and white? Monochrome. monochrome. You have a monochromatic style. I would say I'm quite minimalist too, but I do like wearing colour. 
but I don't ever wear like patterns I mean, like, or like, like flowers or like yeah I, I'm quite minimalist in that sense and I always have to match stuff together so like, I'll always match colours and always match like shoes with bags and colours or I, think I used to be like that when I was your age I feel like sometimes I can't wear what I want to wear because like the things I go to people I'm around dress quite differently and I don't want to stand out and look, and look weird at uni I wouldn't wear things to uni that I want to wear because people would be like why is she wearing that to uni kind of thing because I have a slightly different style to what I think I think you should just always wear what you want to wear regardless of everyone else and what you're I know but I just don't want to look stupid I don't want to Draw attention to myself. Right. No, I don't. Well, last should we grease it? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, yeah, with butter. Yeah, yeah, I've got some butter. I've got enough butter to grease it, but not enough to put in a. Yeah, got some butter. Yeah, <laughs> got some butter. <laughs> well, we got this much butter. Not okay. enough. Sorry. Right. I'll do the greasing. We never. Do you want to pass me a piece of kitchen roll, Hannah, please? We never got ours to put butter in it. Do we want to put a bit of honey in just for ourselves? Or no? Yeah. Should I just put like that much? Honey. I'm gonna stick that in the honey though. Why? Well, baking, by far the soda on it, because I put that in my bread. No, it's, that's, we haven't used this one yet. If I was a celebrity, I would dress so extra all the time. Would you? Yeah. I've always dressed comfortably and, and neatly. The thing is, I would rather be cold or uncomfortable yeah. and look and have that fashion over, over good. Over. Whereas, that's why, when I always ask you, oh, what looks better? And you're like, whatever you're most comfortable in. And I'm like, that's not the question I ask. <laughs> Yeah. Like, fashion is pain sometimes. Yeah. Okay, that's it, is it? Well, oh, chocolate chips. Chocolate chips, the most important part. They're not actually in the recipe, and a lot of people probably wouldn't put chocolate chips in their banana bread. But for I me, wish. it just gives, it's just a little bit of extra spice, you know? It just adds that little bit of like, zhuzh. Zhuzh. Absolutely, what a great word. And all I'm going to do is just. Bang them in. Bang them in. Give it a little cheeky stir. Someone messaged just saying, no boobs. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> what does that mean? No boobs. They're saying, I have no boobs. Uh, is that what they're saying? Because, um, <laughs> don't be shy. Don't be shy. Put some more. Put some more. They're saying, I have no boobs because I put the question box on a video of me yesterday outside in the sun and I was in a bikini and I was like lying down on a chair. You know when your boobs like fall to the side Ooh. a little bit? And then they just commented, no boobs. Also, how rude. I know, so rude. Gosh. And also, on my when I did the question box on Instagram last week, someone comment, someone asked the question, um, are you not going to get a boob job? And it was a girl. Really? Well, they must be very insecure oh, wow. themselves. And I, I was I you. was on um, like house party to Gabby at the time or something, and I told her, and she went mad. She was like, give me their name. Yeah. And she was like, I'm going to message them. Like, who do they think they are? This is why people that are in like the limelight or like the are a celebrity or like an influencer or in the public eye, this is why they do things like plastic surgery because they get comments like that. Like oh, it doesn't bother me. Like I'm not bothered. And to be fair, that's when you're like I used to be really insecure about my boobs. When we used to live in Spain, we would spend like 90% of our time in a bikini. So I was all I was always really insecure about it. And I always just say, as soon as I'm 18, I'm, get, I'm getting a boob job, but I'm not bothered now. I think it's really nice to have, only, have like a I'd only chest. get a boob job to even them out. If I was to get a boob job, I'd only go up level one. Class. Yeah, I wouldn't want like big, no. fake boobs. No. I think it's much more attractive to have like nice little... To be in proportion, yeah. you've got to be in proportion. Yeah. Yeah. You look yeah. stupid with big boobs. Thanks, Mum. I don't need a boob job, but I could do with a lift now. It doesn't make any sense though. We've got Dad's boobs, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, boobs. Because Mum's actually got boobs and we don't. So what happened there? Yeah. But maybe it's because you've had three children. No, I always have boobs. Ah, oh. even you've all had children. Great. Okay, well, sucks to be us. <laughs> you want to scoop and I'll hold. Mum. Yeah. We might want to put a few um, chops of banana on top for decoration. Yeah, that's after though, isn't it? Oh, is it? No, you don't want them to no, you put the... them on before. Oh, okay. Yeah. We How many slices do you got? Should I just slice Probably like, off? I would say like five. Five is slices. That, is that all? Yeah. Just a bit of decoration. Just a bit of decoration. I said five thick slices. Look, she's oh. A thousand <laughs> very thin <laughs> slices. I'm not bossy. I just said five. You went, how many do you want? <laughs> five, please. <laughs> Why are we going on an angle? For God's sake, can we just chop a banana? Oh, so they're so much thicker than the ones I've come. 
Mum. <laughs> Absolutely none of that, thank you. I broke a nail as well last night, did I tell you? No. <gasps> right. But, um... These are the nails I got done in Bali, which was, oh, yeah. I've probably got them done now, maybe three and a half, four weeks ago. And I've still got them on, obviously, because nothing's open, no nail shops are open. And, um, do you want to pop it in, Hannah? So, anyway, as I was saying, they're very outgrown, and I'm thinking about maybe ordering a kit or something. Um, but that one broke yesterday, so oh, that's very sad. But anyway, okay, so, we're done. We're done. So we're going to pop it in the oven now. So, 45 minutes. Put the timer on then. Well, just put it on the phone as well, in case we're not in the room. Um, it's a very, very nice day in the UK here today, on Sunday the 5th of April 2020, middle of coronavirus. So, we... A little bit banana. <laughs> okay. Great. Great. Any good? <laughs> What's that from? <laughs> My chips. So, we're probably going to go for 45 minutes and probably have a sit in the garden. Mm -hmm. And then we will be back to show you the finished product and probably have a slice, right? Yeah. I like it. You will. It's so nice, I love banana bread. And I saw that someone heats it up in the microwave a little bit and then spreads butter on it. Yeah. We don't have any butter. But we don't have any butter. We've got enough to, we have got enough. Oh, we've got enough! Okay, we'll okay. be back. We'll be back. This is really awkward. Yeah. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Amy. We just had to have a small ad break and now we are back. The cake we have made earlier is now ready and we are going to unveil it. Mum? You're very cold, your hand. Ugh. I've just put them in cold water probably. Sure. So quite done. we put it in for 45 yeah. minutes and then it looked done, but then when we stabbed it, it was very much not done. So mm. And then we put foil over and put it back in for 15 minutes and now it's very, um, please can you get, pass me that so I can... Do you want me? Do you want to pass that? Mm. You can take a photo of it. Are you going to tilt it up? Guys! <laughs> <laughs> so, it's pretty, um, like brown and crisp on the outside. Um, so I would say probably put it in for half an hour, then put foil on it mm -hmm. and then put it back in for another like 20 minutes or something like that. Another half an hour. I would say. Gotta get the round shot. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. Boing. Oh, it looks lovely. Cheeky. Right, let's put that in there. Very cheeky. Well, it right. looks very good. Taste test. Do we all just want to taste test this one side? Yeah, well? yeah, cut it into three. Fork. No. Did you get that cork out for this? I don't so. It's clean. It's clean, yeah. <coughs> Sounds nice to you. No, it's closer to a British carbonara. Mmm. <laughs> Butter on it would be absolutely delicious. I don't know how it's supposed to taste. Well, it's just meant to taste nice. It's a good breakfast thing with coffee, it is. Mm. Mm. Right, anyway, well, that's it, really. Mm. That's, um, that's it. Thanks so much for joining mm. us. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll try and film some more, depending on how long we are in lockdown slash quarantine mm. slash isolation for. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Hit subscribe if you... <laughs> subscribe if you want to stick around and join us for any more videos thank you so much for watching and we out <laughs> we'll see you in our next video see you soon bye okay bye love you bye <laughs> okay bye <laughs>